welcome back to Darkest Hour. I'm your host, Mr. Adolf Lover, but this guy, this Adolf dude, he's, he's visiting Paris. Did you know that? Not long after the magnificent subjugation of the French state by the impetus of the German forces, the big daddies embarked on an entourage across the recently occupied territory. After spending the early evening at the opera, which the Chancellor reportedly enjoyed, he followed by none other than the great architect Albert Speer, drove down the Madeleine, then to the Champs Elysees, and then the Trocado, Trocadero, and then finally to the Eiffel Tower, where a picture was taken by request of the big daddy himself. Later, Adolf ordered another stop at the tomb of Napoleon, where in solemn silence he took stood for a long time. When we are done in Berlin, Paris will only be a, a shadow. And we're still doing Reichsische Heitsamps. Yeah. Reichsische Heitsamps. But, uh, Germanisierung. After our humiliation in the Treaty of Versailles, we lost our national pride with the French imposing very harsh and punitive reparations on us, say, along with the rest of the Allies, who of the historical German lands. But after two decades of struggle and humiliation, under the leadership of a great big daddy, we've had our national pride restored along with our formerly lost territories, with the French being defeated. It's time to start the process of reintegrating these lands back into the Reich, for they've been separated from us for decades. It'll be a difficult process, but necessary nonetheless. Qualified administrators are being trained and sent out as we speak to begin reuniting and reintegrating these lands back wholly into the Reich and, oh yeah, Kriegswirtschaft. Um, yeah, there's an earlier too, I believe. So if you're going to do this again, please go ahead. Plan economy. Actually, the whole economic system, we have low social spending and we're overtaxing the people. And we're massive spending into research. We have a standing army, limited exports, and we have a mixed economy. So all that does is add, what? 5% resource efficiency gain. We lose 5% consumer goods, which is fine for now. We, we lose 5% stability in exchange for 15% more construction, 10% more construction speed. Efficiency retention actually goes down by 25%. Wow. Um, we lose 10% cap, but we get 20% instead. We lose 15% of our resources to market. Growth goes up by 15% here, and you get 25% more fuel gain from the refineries, which actually isn't bad overall. So, um, oh, my finger slipped. Time to go in. Time to have a good time. Panzer boys, anything here? Nope. All right, anything here? Um, we're gonna try to nearly invade, but we'll see how that actually ends up. Um, Tanks, I want you to go here. Have you go to here, to there. Um, I want you to actually just go straight for Copenhagen. And have you guys go there. Can they pierce us? Yeah. One individual can deal 65% of damage to this enemy's armor. Well, it looks like we still need more armor then. Now they join the allies. What else is new? Uh, yeah, we need more medium tanks. Now nah, we're good. We don't need help there. Oh! We just completely uh, butchered them. Oh, look at those things go. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. It's okay. And they're gone. Very nice. Very nice. Um, these guys are okay with us for now-ish. We expect a Hedman Gold Ring. Economic Policy. Heim's in the Reich. Anything else down here? Not too much, really. War Bonds would be nice. It's 75 political power. We are slowly ringing out, but not really. Um, uh, we don't need that one either. Over here, Felix wouldn't be bad. We can get Gibraltar and take out... Uh, Spain, which we might actually do that, and Hercules, of course, take them out, we get to get Gibraltar, which would be a huge boon to what we need. Other than that, there's not much else going on. We did last time capitulate these guys, and we are struggling down there, but the goal is maybe do Silova, but, you know, in the end, hey, we've got another tank. We'll see. Unto name and Hercules is a success. Uh, Operation 1, uh, Operation Un Overview. Unto name and Hercules, a Wehrmacht operation in conjunction with their Italian counterparts north and Forza Armata Italiana have been successful. The island of Malta has been occupied and the supply lanes in the Mediterranean secured for our usage, even though we had nothing to do with it. Good job, Italy. Two notable events, the joint operation Unternehmen and Hercules evolved forces from the different branches of the Wehrmacht and the Forza Armata Italiana. The OB suit allowed significant resources for this campaign, even siphoning off from other regions of the Mediterranean theater. The operation was planned in constant correspondence with the Italian commanders in the region. After the green light had been given, the Luftwaffe and the Regia Marina escorted the invasion fleet and warded off aerial naval attacks by the British. Simultaneously, the Fallschirmjäger and elements of the uh, Paracadustisti Falgor conducted airdrops to secure bridgeheads on the island. Despite the fierce resistance and heavy anti-air barrage, the paratroopers were able to hold off until reinforcements from the main invasion force arrived. After some consolidation, <coughs> The established force conducted a general offensive to defeat the British and soon had to secure the surrender of the tattered remnants of the garrison. Three final conclusions. The success of Unternehme Hercules has decisively shifted the balance in our favor regarding the Mediterranean theater. The occupation of Malta granted us almost complete control of the Mediterranean shipping lanes, affording us unrestricted freedom of movement in the region as well as opportunities to constantly harass British naval traffic in the area. The British just lost their biggest aircraft carrier. Nice, and we didn't do anything about it. Ah, Denmark. 
A German army arrived in Copenhagen just a few days ago. The invasion, which took place at the end of the night, was one of the fastest ever launched. German tank battalions, known for their amazing tactics, had crossed the country at breakneck pace, and entered the capital city only two hours after the start of the invasion. Fearing for their lives, King Christian X and his family escaped to the United Kingdom, followed by a faith, few faithful ministers, joining the ever-growing collection of Churchill's royal families in exile. Despite the fear to capture the king, German troops now control the entirety of Denmark, and since the Fuhrer has not spoken in favor of establishing uh, Rexkommissar at Denmark, the emergence of many collaborators in the capital should aid the occupation forces. <clears throat> Notably, a politician Erik Scavenidius has volunteered to work with the German delegation to resolve the terms of D Denmark's capitulation. <clears throat> Recognize this prompt offer, the German foreign minister has dispatched young Werner Brest to some political leadership of the crisis on behalf of the Reichstag. Let's do the trick for now. Social Democrat now becomes a ruling party. Okay. Ambitious union boss. Interesting. Well then. Uh, in the meantime, we're still trying to hopefully take invade these guys, but we just don't have enough uh, naval supremacy, unfortunately. Eh, I shouldn't have collected the navy so much, but it is what it is. There's not much we can really do about it now, is there? <clears throat> We're still working on subs, super heavy super heavy battleships, battleships from 1933, and just getting more planes in general. We have center spies uh, there too as well, so nice. Oh, more dependency on them. Whatever it is, what it is. Um, but uh, yeah, they've already deleted most of our navy too, which is unfortunate. But whatever. <clears throat> you guys go up there and go to Saint Helier. That'd be nice. Also, we did throw in, um, what is it, some radar around here as well, which is pretty decent too, so. Hopefully we can invade, but, you know, there's no guarantee, of course. Oh, man. Go repair. Oh, you can't actually get in there, can you? Because the Navy's too strong. And let them all die, so, uh, other than that. Uh, operation units. Yeah, tanks are here. Backhand blow. Mm, sure, we'll do that. Why not? For now. Hmm, you know, I'm gonna send you over here. You guys are gonna come over here instead. You guys are not doing very much, but I don't want to use you for what I have planned. Now we're getting a bit ahistorical here. <clears throat> Could we take on Swiss? Maybe. Phoenix, Icarus, Ada, Fall Orient. Uh, Hashemite Kingdom is a once of war of the French state. Not too much else really here. Wow, 21 naval bombers we shot down or something, huh? Uh, what is this? Convoys, of course. More infantry divisions. Not bad. And cancel that. There you go. Um, what else do we got here? Tannenbaum. Well, how fast would it be for us to justify a war goal on them? Because they didn't. Oh, only 10 days. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. How many days do we have to. Uh, do this. 1940. We do want to get involved, of course, in the Balkans, too. Oh, God. Two point. Oh, God. That's going to take forever. Man. I wish, wish I should have made more planes. But even though actually, our plane production is not bad. We've got 20. We can make maybe a little bit more. Maybe more here, too, perhaps. I don't know. Perhaps. Maybe. Maybe not. A little more planes in here. Because they have 100 here. There's priority. Alright. Oh, fully decrypted, which is nice. What's next? Should uh, let's see. We have a uh, quite a thing around here. So, Ireland, you the front. We should be okay. And attack aircraft. Lots of attack aircraft here. Let me deploy first. <clears throat> I do that thing. Oh, are you kidding me? Liechtenstein exists. Are you what? Bruh. Why do they exist? Martial law, that's pretty cool. I like martial law. Um, man, no, some of those guys too. And here we will go. Hopefully not die too hard, even though it is um, over there too. Let's see, now we're very historical. One to name in... Uh, Tannenbaum. Or Operation Tannenbaum is the Wehrmacht's plan for the invasion of the mountain nation of Switzerland. Drafted by Captain Otto Wilhelm Kurz von Menges from OKH, Tannenbaum relies on a feint to draw in out and annihilate the Swiss army. <clears throat> the best point of it for an invasion uh, for Switzerland, the northwest 
Canton of Jura. Still favors the North defenders in every way, but in a full assault will be insanity, but perhaps a feint is a Jura could draw the Swiss military forces, allowing troops to encircle them. A massive air and artillery barrage will then reduce the enemy strength to the point where the attack is infeasible. Is feasible. Should we succeed and Switzerland be conquered, that way that way, where branch of the German people will be finally rejoining the brothers in the Thousand Year Reich. The non German speaking areas could be granted to our allies except for repopulation by the German loyal German Volk. OKW does not generally share the burning hatred the fear holds for Switzerland and would prefer to leave the Alpine nation alone. Well, we'll see <clears throat> what we can do here. Maybe we can do well, maybe we can't. But it looks like the uh, militia in general is. Uh, well, they do, oh, they broke through here. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you know what? It's in the tanks this way. It's time to hold. Alright, through this region is probably the best to assault through. Strategic bombing and then interception defense. Not bad to do. Ah, look at that. Encirclements. Three divisions, not much, but it's better than nothing. And the fighting over the river here is going to be impossible to do, but whatever. You do know you could help out here, too. Yeah, we're definitely doing well. Not here ish, but here ish. Most definitely we're doing okay. Go here. Go here. Don't let him move. It's it's a little hard to read the map, not gonna lie. It's a little hard to read it. Well there goes Lichtenstein. Not any real big surprise there, I suppose. See on. Still repairing, still repairing. Ah! They didn't even join the Allies, huh? Well, that's ours now. It's good army XP. Ah. One thing I'm in bomb is a success. Ah, the plan to end the Swiss Mujad and reunite the branch of the Germanic people was a complete success, as our army was completely annihilated by the overwhelming force presented by the Vardahir and Luvava. Noble events. The faint move planned by the OKW was executed perfectly by our troops, which resulted in some of the defenders leaving the positions, allowing our soldiers to exploit the gap created. With this excellent strategy, our ground forces managed to overwhelm the defenders and push them further back into the mountains and into their cities, where they were probably crushed. 3. Due to our fine, uh, army superior equipment, training, and planning, a couple with a well thought out strategy, defeating the Swiss army was difficult, but not the greatest challenge OKW predicted. Neutrality was a foolish idea, and they paid for it. Nice. Well, with you guys all around here, we might as well get ready to invade Yugoslavia. It's a little more time before we try to invade the uh, UK, probably. Even though we are still poised for a UK invasion, so. Um, if we need to, if you need to. Right now, you're still repairing, and we have. Another uh, lockers are nice. I just keep losing subs all over the place. Now, radar wise, I th I'm pretty sure I built radar here, but they didn't want to build radar. Okay, interesting. No, I'll build two just in case then. Phoenix, Chris, Ada, Philip, right. Uh, how many more, how many days would it take for us to do this? Or we just go to war them? Can't we? Anybody's? No, Norway. Oh, uh, better heavy cruiser. What is this? Subs. Oh, better subs. That's right. P class heavy cruiser or light cruisers. We'll go to light cruisers. 1940 subs. Goodbye. 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 So good. Atlantic Wall. Consider the coastline. Oh, and we need Norway for this one. Oh. Ostwall. Defend ourselves, huh? Well, we're gonna go this one next. Move the Danube, invite them, but oh well, too late. <clears throat> uh, generals, Major Avent, SD. That seems okay. The strict party requirements. Fanatic performance these units on the battlefield, or we do this one. Yeah, I like that one. Probably we'll go with that one, probably too. But expand the Yagd Yaffa. 
Over 20 years ago, a brave young man stepped into the plane and took to the skies against the Antonio skies and became a legend. During the Valkyrie, the Red Baron showed us what was possible in the air and paved the way for modern fighters. For now, we shall follow in his footsteps and take the fight to our enemies in the skies. By controlling the sky and destroying the enemy air force, and protect other planes from enemy interference and boost their effectiveness in a way that will see us dominate the air. For this, we must be ahead of our enemy's game and develop better and stronger fighters that will be able to outmaneuver them at any turn. Sooner foes will seem like sparrows in the face of the almighty German Eagle. Yeah. Need more light tanks. Uh, medium tanks are doing not too bad. Attack bombers are doing very poorly. <sighs> we need more space. Like, we literally need, like, a Laban's realm. Ah. Yugoslavia. Now it is what it is. And what else do we have? Expand ties. Well, so much for expanding ties with Yugoslavia. Um, Operation Magaret. Power to the National Social Movement. <clears throat> Well, we're not going to kill, kill all these guys then. Lungs, Koopa. At least 25%. Well, it's too late for that. Oh, wait, they're allied to. Ro they're guaranteed by Romania, huh? Well, this is going to be weird. No, no, no. They're guaranteeing Romania. Okay. Oh, no. Maybe they are allied to them. Or no, guaranteed by them. Well, I guess we're Romania. So, so much for being a struggle now. Belgrad. Stars now. Good figure. They join the Allies. What a mistake. Oh well. As we're just literally flooding through this entire area. Oh, they see the Soviet Union. Good job. You joined the wrong group. And you still lost territory. Dubrovnik? Zagreb? They claim Bessarabia. Enjoy this temporary victory for now, Moscow. Ah. Qatar. Good. It's just encircled. Just use the tanks to just spread out like absolute insanity here. Nice. Better. <clears throat> we'll deal with the, the Romanian soon enough. Going on July 8th. Oh, the capitulation of Yugoslavia. Nice. Beautiful. My god, Romania. What a mistake that was. That you made. Uh, mechanized defense is not bad. Combined arms, that specialist? Nah, I'm not here. That was just a giant mistake they made. Oh, here. You don't do that right now. You go home. I do want you to draw them out. Don't worry about it for now. Sunk 16 naval bombers. That's pretty nice. Here, infantry expert, charisma. Be charismatic. And I'll go in. And reception, sure, why not? I didn't want this. Really didn't want this. Go in, go in.
Well, you know what? You might as well join the fight here too. <clears throat> We've lost fifty thousand ourselves. Must have some Swiss Confederation. I apologize for no longer being historical, but it is what it is, you know. You never know things are gonna turn out in the end. If anything, send the tanks down here. Gives you a better chance to do very, very, very well. Cool. Still making a profit, barely, but still making a profit. Excuse me, game. Come on. We're not paying you to sit there. After the region, as I should. Here, nope, nope, nope. What you can do? Uh, oh, they're so green. Good. Um, I have to expend the yak. Don't shoot. Flash me like a America bomber. Perfectionierta militaria panzer. Recent experience has shown that the Panzer threes and fours are already outdated. The appearance of angled armors led to the 50 mm and low velocity 75 mm simply not being enough for tank on tank combat. In order to keep our Panzer forces up to date and capable of countering even the most advanced models of arrivals, development of a new medium tank needs to begin immediately. The new best tank producers in the Reich have begun drawing up designs for a new medium tank boasting angled front arm, frontal armor, a powerful main gun while also keeping high mobility. This new Panzer dubbed the Panther has much more potential to become the new backbone of our armor. Now forces. it's time for a little invasion of Greece. See what we can do as we're still trying to build up a bigger and bigger air force, of course, as we're trying to build, 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 build. You don't understand. Three divisions versus one. Do we have. I don't think we did the Greek one. No. Should have done that before, but oh well. Still storming through, though. Still storming through, even though we're not using tanks here because it's suicide using tanks in mountains, of course. Good. Very good, very good, very good. Where are you going? Just go there. Catarini? Very nice. Uh, post that. Well, we could go to war with Norway still. Or take out the Spanish state. I'm talking about the Spanish Republic, huh? Hmm. Challenge are doing okay in North Africa for now. They don't have very much to deal with, in all honesty, but. Hmm. What's going on over here? Ah. Another tank division, not bad. And we'll get that done. We're almost done with the land doctrine as well, which is not too bad either for us. Up to that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We've lost 78,000 against the Greeks. We've, they're not even. Oh, they're not even in the war. 7,000 losses, huh? Yeah, they might still join eventually. So they may be there, though. Still collecting Bay by building up our forces just a little bit more. Oh. Cool. And Norway. Still two. Patra, good, good, good. And we almost completely made it down here. And to go, 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 even the supplies gonna be god awful. And we're doing the land doctrine, air doctrine, I should say, for now. Athena is ours. Heraklion. Get all the way down there. Junkers, torpedo aircraft, fighter bombers, carry borne fighters. Yeah, I must go for that too. Nice. Better attack aircraft. And there go the Greeks. Oh! We didn't even. Oh, well, definitely won't take their navy. Um. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Since we technically didn't. At least taking a little bit of these for now. I wonder how this is going to work in the end, maybe? Uh. Oh. Man, I just wanted the Navy. Just took all of it for now, I guess. If I can give it to the Italians, it's fine with me, too. But I just want... So we have a nice peace deal here. Oh. 
All right, well, there go the Greeks. Kind of time to go to war with the Republic of Turkey, too. Oh, all seven ships came up here. That's kind of nice. Should get blown up on the way up. How do they get up there? Can we give Greece to our allies? No? Okay. Hmm. This is the Italian Navy. We could maybe invade here. Because mm, I think Gibraltar would be nice too, though. Yeah. What's wrong with the Spanish? La Guerra Civil. Pandora. Military power struggles. The army is with us. Organizing command structure. They don't really have a lot of divisions, do they? We can make this very ahistorical. Oh, but the French state's not even with us either. They are kind of by themselves. It might take 10 days to go to war with them, but still. Hmm. I'm just seeing what options we have. Icarus. Iceland, huh? Ada. What are we doing? How many divisions does the Soviet Union have? They don't have that many. We're still making a slight, we're still making quite a hefty profit here. Now, what if we were to do this? Our military spending. Cost per field of battalion. That still wouldn't be too bad. If we could use our tanks early on and circle and circle and circle and circle. I just know how good the, the Italian Navy is, if they could actually launch naval invasions against these guys. 54 divisions. They have 61 ships, which isn't terrible. Our group over here is pretty bad. Both will do next. The Greeks Marine. As such as we may not like to admit it, is no match to the naval powers of Great Britain and our allies, as our so-called naval treaties don't just dismount our own naval superiority, but strengthen their own navies, thereby crippling our naval capacity, and allowing other repeat of the World War wherein Britain is starved into signing a treaty that has humiliated Germany for decades. No longer shall we be just the masters of the land, we must be the masters of the sea. As such, we're great thinkers in the Opel Commando de Marine. Have devised a plan known as Plan Z. The aggressive rearmament of Kriegsmarine. A, squick, a, squick, a strict quota of ships from varying classes, from destroyers to battleships alike, will be established and if followed correctly. The world's navy shall sink to the bottom of the sea, for the Kriegsmarine shall sail the oceans of the earth with nothing standing in its way. Which I should have done a long time ago, but the Opel Commando de Marine launches Plan Z. Uh, the Kriegsmarine, as much as we might not like to admit it, has no match to the naval powers of Great Britain and our allies, and the so-called naval treaties doesn't just dismount our own naval superiority, but strengthen their own navies, thereby crippling our own naval capacity, and allowing another repeat of the World War, wherein Britain has started in signing a treaty that has humiliated Germany for the masters or for decades. Uh, no longer should be just the masters of the land, we should be masters of the sea. As such, we're great thinkers in the Opel Commando de Marine. I uh, devised a plan known as Plan Z. It's the exact same thing as we read earlier. The aggressive rearmament of a Kriegsmarine, a quota of ships from varying classes, from destroyers of battleships alike, will be established and followed diligently. The world's navy shall sink to the bottom of the sea, for the Kriegsmarine shall sail the oceans of the earth, with nothing to stand in the way. Einsatz der Deutschen Kriegsmarine, and you book, uh, Kriegskonzept. Well, the Kriegsmarine, uh, Kriegsmarine in the arms. <clears throat> What do you think about the doctrine that shall be utilized by our forces? It's possible that we could try and rival the Royal Navy on the surface, however. It almost guarantees that our battlefield will be obliterated by the mountains upon mountains of battleships that they possess. No, we're to fight the British and French amongst the sub submersibles. Our U-boat fleet is rather small, yet we can remember the days of the Great War, where our U-boats were in terror on the Entente merchant shipping and convoys. We must rebuild our submarine force and design newer, updated models of U-boats to lurk in the deep waters of the North and the Atlantic Ocean, waiting for enemy shipping. Other designs, too, must be created for the Baltic, and true submarine admirals introduced as the head of the soon be revived U-boat flotilla. Which I should have done this way, 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 way sooner. My bad. Um, but oh well. Electric boat. Or we could do this one. Uh, Dusenflugzeug project. Now that the all Heinz invention, the jet engine will finally be put into practice and elevate the next generation of German warplanes. We must decide what plane we should prioritize. <coughs> Which one we should take the skies first? The most obvious option is to prioritize the Ami 262. The fighters have always been the backbone of any air force, and equipping our fighters with jet engines will give us an important edge in the air battles and will probably see greater damage to the enemy air force. On the other hand, we can leave that for later and focus more on the AR-234 initially. Tactical bombers are fi by far the most versatile plane in our arsenal. They can support ground troops, attack enemy ships, and because of the large range, can even go on strategic bombing missions. Building more of these initially would make sure that our jets are getting used in almost all areas and that their benefit is well on the battlefield. But I've got some comments to go through and uh, some things to talk about. So basically right now, uh, we're kind of stuck. I, didn't, I should have built more planes, because we just can't beat the planes here. So we can't alien invade, so we're going to be somewhat historical and invade the Soviet Union a little bit early. So maybe at the beginning of February. Um, so, I've I, I, nothing else to do. Like, 
our, our navy, obviously we just did plan Z, not very good right now. But we'll build it up in time, and hopefully we can smash the Soviet Union and not get destroyed uh, therein. So, uh, obviously it leaves open the chance for America to join the Allies eventually. Which is gonna suck. Uh, what happened here? Well, it looks like Japan's doing much better now. Go figure. Ice Black promoted. Um, as you see, our, our, our chests are doing very, very well. They're doing very, very well. They're, it's doing a good job of convoy rating, so... It is what it is. As we're just rapidly trying to build up more planes. I mean, that's the biggest thing right now. Even though the invasion of the Soviet Union is probably going to be completely what we call suicidal. And that's okay. For now. It's okay for now. We're still putting up a whole crap ton more stuff. But some comments include... <clears throat> Uh, you should do the Berlin Moscow Actus. Maybe sometime. Yes, sometime I will. Not sure when, but sometime. Also, I don't know where the divisions are at. I'm not going to call my allies in. It's just going to be us and the Soviet Union to see who wins. <clears throat> someone says, can you play Japan? Probably eventually. Someone says, yeah, the Axis is really weak in this mod. In the two games I played, the Axis can even break one tile during Barbarossa. So, someone said that he struggled taking Belgium. Um, that being said, <clears throat> I might have to replay this a little bit off screen too. Uh, yeah, it was a little... Belgium was more tough than the Dutch, and the French were a little more tough than, they, than I thought they should be. Um, but that being said... It's okay, it's not bad, it's not great. I'm still trying to learn this mod as well, so if you have any hips, hips? I hope you have hips. If you have any tips, or hints, or advice for how I should play this as well, please let me know in the comments below, because I am generally pretty open to criticism as well. Um, but that being said, it's interesting. someone else said this is an interesting mod. Someone says, can you play as TNO USA as progressive MCS? Probably eventually, if they keep spamming that. I probably will, honestly. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> we're doing all this stuff here, but we just can't... Attack there. Oh, Plans the Kriegsmarine is as much as we don't like to admit it to you. Uh, fail these 10 battleships. Uh, huh. When failed. Wait. We'll fail at least 10 battleships, at least 3 battle cruisers, at least 4 carriers, at least 15 heavy cruisers. Crap. And 14 destroyers. Get, uh, get a lot of good stuff. Not bad. But let's commit a. Uh, well, let's see what happens. Is this enough division? Oh, we can't. Oh, we have to go on. Oh, no, they have no one up here. Oh, that's good to get attacking before that they get that. Um, like we saw earlier though, they all look crap in a manpower. And a good amount of divisions too, but you know. We'll see. Cause the divisions are, while we don't have a crap ton of them, they're I would say they're relatively decent. Um planes are good. It is nineteen forty one, of course. Oh, I'm missing things. Parallel production, serial production. Base ten for cap. Base is more. Factory output sounds like fun. Parallel production. Um, serial production. I kind of want to go serial production. We more output as much as possible. That's, uh oh, don't lose that ship. Oh, those are our planes trying to sink the enemy's navy. That sucks, bro. Um, oh, torpedo bombers. Better torpedo bombers. Yes, please. And here are the Soviet divisions. Um, they're looking not bad. They're actually pretty decent themselves. So let's see what happens. Uh, oh. On declare, you get 100 political power, okay. The Great Eastern Crusade. After years of preparation, finally our time has come. Like the Teutonic Order, like the Prussian Kingdom, finally we will launch all of our forces into a new modern kingdom, or crusade, for the liberation of all the Germanic people. Along the entire border, we share the Soviets, our troops have started to advance in a despicable communist nation. Ready to take on Moscow, Leningrad, Stalingrad, our brave and powerful soldiers will not stop until the collapse, collapse the complete surrender of the Bolsheviks. Just like 20 years earlier, the brest Treaty will be enforced by our army. Our main objectives are to liberate Austria and Ukraine, the Caucasus, and Moscow. We'll also establish Reich's Commissariats here to ensure the beginning of German colonization of Russia. After the end of the war, the resources of the Reich will be infinite. How many crusades are there now? Nine, yeah? Let's be the ninth crusade. This is a bad idea. Oh, well. Oh, turn. Oh, great Eastern Crusade. Despite having much, conquered much of Europe, the biggest threat to the German race lies to the east. Uh, they are preparing as if they intend to divide our fatherland at any time. We must declare a war ahead of them as a precautionary measure for the country and people. For the sake of our race's honor. After we're done with them, the Bolsheviks' doghouse will be nothing but rubble. The Soviet Union must be defeated in these three distinct methods, and this must be accomplished swiftly. We don't want our men to be caught in the freezing weather, as we learned from Napoleon's armies, or consequences might be disastrous. Well, we're attacking February. Uh, Baden Bekampfung operations. Deploy Eisenbahn through. Mm. It's not bad. Bombing campaigns. Ooh. Uh, issue for directive number 39. Build the Dawn High Road. Oh, what's this? That's cool. I'll launch Unternehmen Sivelfuchs. <clears throat> Unternehmen Typhoon. More speed. Organization loss goes up. More attack. Nordlish, Leningrad, Moscow, um, Storfang. 
Kind of wait. Oh, that's really good. 20% more break is really nice. We'll see. Oh. Must just also lose the Soviet Union. Uh, guys, can you go? Oh, I didn't call on you guys. That's why. Is this a bad idea? Well, it might be. Ooh. They're definitely trying to sink our navy. Look at that. Nice. Well, we'll see. First Moscow conference. Huh. Well, all right. Captain Rudolph has. We didn't send him away, though. Bruh. Admiral Bowman. We lose 10% organ. Oh my god. The flat of Rudolph Hess. I don't want this guy. He's got hair there. Wow. Deputy Fuhrer Rudolf Hess was arrested by the home uh, soldiers in Scotland yesterday after parachuting from a heavy fighter. An accomplished pilot apparently flew alone across the North Sea, taking care to stay out of the radar range before veering west towards Britain. Hess appears to have taken it upon himself to negotiate a peace treaty between Britain and Germany, although Berlin has announced him as a madman and has been stripped of all of his political offices. British authorities have not been able have been available for comment. That madman. Yeah, well, I, that's something very questionable in history books. Like, I just do not understand why he did that. I mean, that's it's very fun to, like, have conspiracy theories, but, like... Oh, my finger hurt my finger against my desk. Um, it doesn't make any sense why he did that. Like, like, bro, why would you do that and not tell anybody about that? We could go to uh, war economy to total mobilization, maybe. Maybe. But. 1941. Pace by promoted good. Good, good. Uh, experimental research? Yeah. Research speed? Sure, why not? We're going to take guns. Oh, well, Kriegsmarine stuff, yes, very good, very good. Um, yeah, since we have it, we'll, we'll do that anyways right now. And there, now, this, uh, it sort of slowed down a little bit. Because we get to call it hungry, that probably won't be very good right now. That, ooh, about a fast battleship, look at that. Allies, 113,000 casualties. 92,000 is not very good, but, you know, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Uh, plane-wise, how could they have more? I just don't understand how. Like... The production for the Soviet Union is, I think, I don't know, just, the, even planes here are too high for the UK. Like, I get, I didn't focus as much as I could have, probably, but, like, you just don't have enough. Yeah, let's, oh, yeah. Do, we have, do, we, do you even have the cipher done for them? No, Turkey. Really? Do we not have it done? Well, then. Oh, God, there goes China. It is March as well, so I guess we'll have to see. Oh, the Japanese enter Chongqing Kumi KMT. Group therapy, there goes the neighborhood. I just do not understand this anymore. And even if they have air superiority, we have anti airs here as well. So. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Campaign's over. You just can't do anything. The Axis is. The Germany's just too weak. You really can't do anything. Uh, maybe not you guys. Go there. They're all my garrison divisions. There's just really not much you can do at all. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. The Soviets are stronger. There's no, no way. There's absolutely no way that they are stronger than us. For all those purges? Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, this still needs a bit of tweaking here, I'd definitely say. Definitely needs some more tweaking. Uh. What? Uh, well. How did they join the... Oh, yeah, this is getting very historical. Um, well. Definitely don't want to call the rest of them in the war. Boy, has been called in. Well, then. What else do we have here? 
Operation Barbarossa. I'm not completely to use this war sport. New directors are required. Uh, we still have enough money. Do that one too, why not? Gossip over here as well. Uh, yeah, Japan, probably good to have an aggression pact. Quarter million, we've lost how much against these guys? 125,000, oh my god, come on. We don't have the land auction now. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that production for the Soviet Union, it just seems a bit too much. It really does. <clears throat> they love attacking us, though. Good for us. Operations, cryptology. How did I not do them yet? What the heck is wrong with me? Another tank division? Sure, why not? Down there. Uh, half of you guys go there, too. What do we have here? Uh, well, might as well. And I'm gonna try attacking again. Okay. Well then. Uh, rocketry, blitz, air doctrine. We can do this one. With a successful introduction of the Junkers Motor in Jumo jet engine, we can now look towards practical applications. While the fighters of the Luftwaffe have played an extremely important role throughout the war, is there bombers who have truly helped Germany with their victories? Therefore, we should funnel more effort into a blitz bomber using these engines, or to revival the Schnell bomber using new technologies. <clears throat> This will make our tactical bombers more difficult to step or stop by enemy interceptors and could give us an edge in the war air war. An aircraft, the Arado 234 Blitz, utilizing these engines, has been planned for introduction. While well, the bombing cap capability of the aircraft is mediocre, its speed and ability and recon more than make it up. Loaded with fuel and bombs, the AR-234 can hit speeds of 672 kilometers per hour, an incredible feat making it the fastest some allied fighters. In a reconnaissance setup, the top speed was found to be around 740 kilometers per hour. My goal is to get good now, so... It's a very good goal to get. <clears throat> and we should have it. My god, that air XP has just exploded. Oh, so it's an able XP. It's really well for itself. Good. Yeah, that's a lot of air XP. Um, dive bombing, cast research speed, probably not. Uh, chance. Air accident chance goes down. Dr. Cusk goes down. Doesn't really help us now. Um, training experience gain. Sure, we'll do that one. <clears throat> Learn fast. Continue strikes. Ground attack factor. Sure, why not? Very, very good, guys. Let that division leave, and let's go in. I hope they're exhausting themselves, because my god, this sucks. And... Uh, come on. There you go. It ain't much, but it's still three divisions that are going to die. Beautiful. Anything here? Uh, go with Ambusher, you might need it. You really honestly might need it. Go Scavenger, so we can start grabbing some equipment. And go with infantry attack. Beautiful. I mean, we lost. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. It's looking really bad down here. Do we take the supply base? There's a supply base right here. There's a supply. Oh, no supply base here. Anything around here at all? So there's only supply right there. What the heck, guys? I think by the time we build this up here too, it'd mean like nothing, which sucks. But they want to keep attacking them, and I'm okay with it. You can try a general attack. Hey, look at that! Nice, sunk part of the fleet. Oh my god, we need so much more fuel. Got promoted. Already running out of fuel. Alright. General attacks are not gonna work. Logistics wizard would be very nice. Max planning, good. Um, at this point, we're gonna come up here. I don't know if you guys rush through here. Take a rig up if you can. 
good, good, good. Uh, research speed. Keep getting more research speed. And you know what? Just let him attack us a whole bunch. Um, is it really worth getting this tile here? What do we do? Oh, cup of coffee too. Is keeping us nice and warm. <sighs> tasty, tasty, tasty. The Blitz Bomber, Box Yager, your arm project. The latest accomplishments in the field of nuclear science and the potential they have offered in helping the war effort has greatly piqued the interest of our Fuhrer, and thus has tasked Abishpeh with the installment of the Joran project. The greatest physicists in Germany, Werner Heisenberg, Robert Doepel, Kurt Diebner, and Karl Kartek, came together to find a use for nuclear technology that would benefit the Reich in the war. What they found is that using nuclear fission, a bomb can create that far eclipse all weapons ever built, ever imagined by man. This weapon, the atom bomb, will have the power to wipe out entire cities in a few moments that make them inhospitable for decades to come. We're not the only ones with this knowledge. We know that the cursed Jews that have fled the Reich are researching the same weapon at this very moment somewhere abroad. A weapon such as this cannot fall into the false ends of a rotten inferior enemies. It must be realized by us first. We must. We will be the first to ones to realize the greatest weapon of all history, and then we should use it to annihilate our cursed enemies once and for all. Oh, good. Um, class over there. Uh, battleships, battle cruisers. Well. I haven't really researched the heavy cruisers too much. What if we have to? So that's a battleship. There we go. There we go. Come pages when you're done and ready. Alright, so over here. We've got quite a few naval bombers actually. Which is actually pretty decent. But we don't have enough fuel, honestly, for that, so. Ooh. Oh god, are we already out of support equipment? And small oh that's so bad. Yeah, you just don't have enough of anything. That's Germany, you just really don't. And this comparison to all your enemies, so... Like, what the bonkers are we supposed to do? Race to Riga. Go, 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 go. And leap page. Or whatever it is. Uh, what breaks up between Peru and Ecuador? Well, too bad no one cares. Ah, that sucks, bro. Um, we gonna need more fuel, bro. Why can you not take this? Come on. You are sad and pathetic. We are going to struggle hard here, aren't we? This bomber. Uh, get on project. Yes. I know we're going to deploy those reserves, but I really don't want to deploy them, deploy them yet. Up on conquer territories. The war is putting strain on the country, and in order to maintain the various sectors that are supporting it, we must quickly and efficiently take advantage of every possible valuable resource within the regions that we can have already conquered. By plundering these territories of their valuables, whatever they may be, we'll be able to continue the war for without any fear that we will have to limit our use of resources. Allowing us the freedom to pursue whatever objectives we so desire and give us the strength we need to bring this war to a close. We're still making more money. Also, I do want to say the AI is cheating. It's literally cheating. Because I tabbed over before I started re-recording this, before the fade and fade out, and the UK is in serious debt. It's in so much debt, it's not funny. Like, they take it, they keep taking out loans, it does nothing for them. At war, medium uh, funding, free market economy, overtaxation, Great Depression, st being in debt does nothing. It literally does nothing. Like, bro, the economy should be in the complete toilet with how many loans these guys have taken out. Like, I don't know, the economy system... Uh, because the devs have done a good job with this, it's just... It's very annoying. When you're hampered by like trying to avoid having an economic collapse, but the AI isn't. It's very frustrating. Good. At this point, this is probably going to be in Circumment Central here. So that's pretty much all it's probably going to be. Um, they still have attacking as much. Raj of Saravak. Not bad. And let us three, two, go. I can't even see the tiles. Bruh.
Let's see, pharmacology, um, engineering. It's not bad. Oh, this one too. We lost. How? How the hell do you lose? They have way too... How do you get so many... There's no way the Soviets fielded 4,400 planes up in here in 1941. There's absolutely no freaking way, man. No way. They would definitely rule the world if they had that many planes by that time. Jesus Christ. Um, some more? Here, put them on there. Like, bruh. Bro, the capital, bruh. Oh, you're connected up here too. Awesome, good. I have you guys designed just to help, like, cover areas here too, so. Ah, but we're going to fail. Bombing campaign. Geo game minus 700. Eh, we could. It doesn't mean we have to. Nice. Oh, you have another one too. Nice. The is doing well. Wow. Dude, you're not gonna win that good. Just go here. Go, yeah, get up, get up, cut him off. If you can, just get up there. Beautiful. Actually, that's a good idea to keep a pocket here. God. Oh, Ethiopia's being... Ethiopia. Jesus Christ, guys. So much for a competent Italian ally, isn't it? Go need more fuel, too. Ah, oh, boy. Because we definitely need to expand around here. No, not everyone go at the same time. Ecuador suddenly defeats Peru. Ceasefire signed. Huh. Well, if they want to stay. They can. They're just all going to die until then. And once it starts shending, sending more divisions up here, we're going to attack. Oh? Oh, Barbarossa, Thwarted, and New Directors are acquired! Weaken themselves and go. The initial stages of Unternehmen Barbarossa resulted in significant advances in Russia. Well, not for us. While initially impressive, the advantages, advantages advances by the Hay of Stald, with a threaded winner sitting in, uh, the Grenadiers and Panzers have no choice but to dig in. The initially stated objectives have not been successfully met. Large bodies of Russian troops have been able to uh, escape a circlement. Along with this, major population and industrial centers are still in enemy hands and are still a long way in securing the AA line. This makes a resumption of advances in the east of almost, almost urgent urgency. But the Bolsheviks cannot be allowed to spite the two regroup. And accordingly, the OKH has decided to continue operations as soon as the summer comes. But here lies our predicament. The front line units are depleted. Supplies are running low and partisans run rapidly on the lines. Winter clothing and shelter are lacking. Troops offer their stolen red army coats with newspapers stuffing them to attempt to fight off the cold, but we still endure. After assessing our general situation, simply put, it is logistically and physically impossible to resume the operations on a broad front. We can only concentrate our forces in a single particular sector, and we hope to achieve an overwhelming victory there. And it an attempt to precipitate a large enough crisis on the Soviet line, which allows us to eventually fold and push the Reds out of European Russia. We can either launch an offensive in the north to isolate Russia from foreign aid, or mesh our lines in the center and bifurcate their lines wherever we want. We can strike into the Caucasus and pluck the rich pickings of the oil fields in Maikop, Grozny, Baku, etc. I think the south was the most important. Maybe the center? I don't remember. We're doing really well in the north, but the north has a lot of swamps. I don't, I don't like the swamps with my tanks. Um... I could try the north, I don't know. Uh, the south, the center is going to do okay. I can definitely tell the center is going to do okay. The south is going to struggle, so we're not going to do the south. Uh, the north won't work. Okay, we'll try it. Why not? Uh, what does this one say? Uh, what's the name of the fish? Cloud optimization factor. Oh, yeah, you guys can rejoin the war, can't you? Ah, uh, have to have, have to popularity is not very good. Well, shnikes. Well, alright. Well, it's, it's only August, so I don't want to do that yet, so. Ah, oh, Dr. 39, of course, like we said. Um, we can do that one. We've got more than our enough air XP. Uh, but probably, let's read a couple more, and then... Oh, eyes to the east. Oh, whoops. The east... Re oh, I should have done this earlier. The eastern regions of Europe have uh, been long been influenced and Germanized ever since the medieval era, where in knights of the Teutonic Order have encouraged expeditions eastward and towards the heart of the Slavic people. 
However, the colonial empires of Europe have carved out the continent into their own terms. Along with what was meant to state subservient to Germany, merely independent states that have the so-called right to self-determination. This is a poor act should be rectified with efficiency. And must push eastwards as, not as conquerors, but as liberators, who seek to restore order and allow the Slavic peoples to be liberated from the culture uh, into one more German in nature. Well, the final struggle, huh? Oh. Well then. I, oh, we all need to do this one too, but... Oh well. It just doesn't seem like we just have enough time to do all this stuff. Uh, SS Führungshauptamt. The SS Führungshauptamt, or the SS Leadership Main Office, is the backbone of the Waffen SS. Overseeing its administrative day to day operations along with major combat operations, it offers the recruitment policy, ensuring only the most loyal and most deadly individuals enter its division. It also oversee Yunka schools, training centers for both cadets and officers of the SS alike. These facilities are the breeding ground of becoming a true member of the Waffen SS, often given a larger variety of tasks and skills to ensure adaptability, along with the occupational uh, consumption of state sponsored media distributed among the cadets. All this is just a law but adaptable soldier or officer that will safeguard the future of the Reich itself. Merge Abe into the SD. Recent internal assessments have found the current national intelligence apparatus to be seriously lacking. As many, if not all, fields, inter service rivalry prevents concentration of governmental resources to focus on a single given task, and serious mismanagement almost always leads to failure of simple tasks. To better coordinate and plan intelligence activities, it has been decided to consolidate our intelligence resources under an umbrella organization, that is, merge both the Sicherheitsdienst and the Abwehr into a single entity. More specifically, merge the Abwehr into the Sicherheitsdienst. With some of the past and present leadership of the Abwehr of questionable political allegiance, it is more pro appropriate for the Sicherheitsdienst to be heading the overall intelligence efforts of the nation. Not bad. Uh, no, we don't have enough <laughs> attack aircraft and stockpile, of course not. Why would we? Oh, uh, we don't have enough here too. God dang it. Uh, rocketry is okay. Open support units. To properly support our new units, it's necessary to support our motorized and armored troops with the same medical and logistical opportunities our regular forces enjoy, while also providing them vital artillery need to engage lo local strong points. To fix our current lack of mobile support units, the Wehrmacht has requested funds for a program that will see us put a great deal of effort into new trucks, ambulances, tractors, and other motorized support units, while also training the new generation of officers in properly utilizing these new opportunities. Hopefully allow our forces to reach new levels of maneuverability and independence from supply lines, while also increasing their firepower, which will also exploit breakthroughs faster with greater effectiveness. Hmm. Uh, Electroboat. Cutting the life supply of the Allies in the Atlantic requires new sophisticated technology to combat the material superiority of the Allies in the sea. A revolutionary upgrade of our effective submarine weapon could give us the decisive edge to strangle the Allied supply lines. The Electroboat project consists of a submarine capable of operating submerged in its entirety, rather than just to escape detection or launch an attack. Running on a mix of hydrogen peroxide and diesel engines to recharge the batteries, this new sub is designed to work uh, submerged underwater for extended periods. Featuring uh, a snorkel and updated automized or, uh, weapon system, the Electroboat will guarantee an absolute control of the ocean. But here we're going to end the episode. Here are the casualties. We've lost a quarter million. In total, which is actually not bad, we've killed off over a million Russians so far, because they love attacking us, as well as 1.32 allies. Well, not all of us, but I think so far, it's okay. I just wish we could have invaded the UK, but I think we'll have to end it there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to continue, going to continue to struggle. And my hope is to help take out the UK eventually, even though they don't have that many more divisions in the USSR. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.